Hi everyone. So thought I'd just do a little vlog um, of my weekend because I'm off to Belfast. Uh, in fact, I should be getting ready. I think I've spent the last hour just running around doing nothing in particular because I feel so anxious about getting on a flight. Um, so yeah, it should be really good. We're going for a gig, for my husband's gig um, at the SSE Arena in Belfast. So it'll be amazing. I'll tell you more about it in a bit. But first, I've just kind of got to psych myself into, yes, you can get on a plane, Jessica, and I will be fine. So today as well, there's a storm, a storm Callum or something. So if I wasn't frightened already, just to make matters worse, there's a proper old storm come in. It's a propeller plane and I'm just freaking out. Anyway, right, I'm going to do something with my hair because it's gone really like frizzy and I shall change and uh, get to the airport. I'll see you in a moment. Well, that was a little bit stressful. I forgot my passport. So we've had to, halfway down the motorway, I had to drive back and go get it. And by the skin of our teeth, we have made it to the airport. Flight's on time, we were not, and we are on our way. Hi, so I made it to the hotel. Oh my gosh, that flight would nearly kill me off. I have a really bad fear of flying. I, um, probably since September the 11th, I think that's when it started. And then we used to do loads of traveling before our um, boys went to school. I think with every flight, I just got worse and worse and worse. And then we had this one flight um, in sort of an internal flight in Mexico. And it was like one of those awful tin planes, you know, just you can't believe it's even in the sky. Anyway, we went through a thunderstorm. We got hit by lightning. There was smoke in the plane. I was pregnant with my second child had my first child on my lap. He was only just one year old. Um, so I think after that, I hated flying with a passion. In some ways it's good because I haven't let it get to the stage where I stopped traveling. I did go to see a hypnotist once and it did nothing at all. <laughs> like literally nothing. Um, so maybe it's just one of those things I'm gonna have to live with. So I'm gonna get ready now. Um, we're gonna go out for dinner tonight the gig, oh, I should tell you what I'm going to actually. Um, so my husband is a DJ, like a house music DJ, and he DJs all over the world um, most weekends, so he's away every weekend. Um, but this gig is slightly different, so it is a classical music event of house music, um, but it's in a massive arena, so I think there's, I don't know, maybe 11,000 people in the arena. So it's him and a guy that he used to be part of, a group called Brothers in Rhythm. So it's David and a guy called Steve Anderson. So it's lots of their sort of classic dance tracks turned into a classical event with a 60 piece orchestra. I've been before to one of these and it was incredible, like an overwhelming, overpowering moment. And you know, it makes you wanna cry, it's, it's quite emotional, but in a beautiful, amazing kind of way. I love it. Um, I'll get some footage tomorrow night so you can see, um, but it's really hard to translate on camera. So yeah, so that's why we're here in Belfast. So he's doing rehearsals right now. I'm in the hotel room, just on a big old cleanse and giant bubble bath and enjoying some peace and quiet. And it's dinner tonight and then the gig tomorrow. So I'll be back. So same dress I am wearing this evening as I was wearing today, but just put it with a pair of heels and a blazer over the top just to make it a little bit more dressy. To be honest, it's tricky when you're flying and it's just hand luggage. Um, you can't pack very much. So I thought of some wearing something uh, that will double up. Yeah, one dress, two ways. That is what I'm wearing tonight, which hopefully you like. It's a really old dress actually from Oasis, um, but it's pleated and it's leopard print, so it's perfect for the season. I have put tights on because I'm freezing. Probably would look better with bare legs, but you know, going for comfort tonight. And just a simple blazer that I got from ASOS. Right, see you in a bit. Just been to Boots because I forgot to bring some conditioner. So we do a what's in my bag from Boots. <laughs> some cotton pads, some cherry coats. Not gonna look very healthy in here, is it? Um, some Aussie Miracle Reconstructed Conditioner. That's really good, actually. I like that Aussie range. So I think I need a bit of deep treatment on my hair. Some milk, because the milk in hotel rooms is pathetic. In fact, look at this. 
Now, honestly, who can make a cup of tea with one little milk like that? That's just pathetic. So I used all four of those. There's no bin, hence why it was so messy. So four of those for one cup of tea, hence I need some milk, some deodorant, egg in a box, nice and healthy, bit of a protein fix. And then not a protein fix, some chocolate. Hi, so it's Saturday night and I'm all dressed up, ready to go to the gig in Belfast. I am wearing a dress by the lovely Tallulah and Hope. Um, it's got this gorgeous embroidery all over the chest and the back there. So yeah, fingers crossed I don't trip over it because I'll make a bit of a lemon of myself. Um, but excited. <laughs> Just, sorry, I'm just eating chocolate. There, breakfast, but dairy milk. Running theme there that chocolate is featured almost every second of my vlogs because I am a complete and utter chocoholic. I don't think I can get through a single day without having some sort of chocolate. Even just like one square just kind of cures the the need. <laughs> you don't need to eat it all, you just need something. I don't think I could ever give up chocolate. Actually, I tried for about, I don't know, I was going to do a month without chocolate or a month without sugar. And I must have lasted about three days. And I was really like agitated and grumpy. And in the end, I just thought, you know what, forget this. It's one little vice in life and it makes me feel very happy. <laughs> so anyway, so I have come to the shops. I'm going to have a look for, sorry, um, for a new camera because we're doing lots of pictures and we're doing lots of vlogs. Most of our shoots, in fact, all of our shoots at the moment, both um, for photography, for Instagram, and the videos on YouTube, we just use our iPhone. So Charlotte uses, I think she's got an iPhone 8X or something. She uses that for um, our photographs. And we just use my iPhone for uh, the videos, which is fine. And the quality is really good. Um, so if you're starting out vlogging or you're on Instagram yourself, there's nothing wrong with it whatsoever. I was just chatting to the photographer on the Pyrus shoot and I love his imagery. I love photography basically. So I have in my head a certain look that I want to create and, and I love beautiful imagery, but it's really hard to get that look with an iPhone. It just doesn't translate in the same way because an iPhone wants to make everything super, super crisp and the contrast is really sharp, which in some cases is brilliant, but for the kind of imagery I want to make, an iPhone just won't do it. So he recommended um, a Canon, um, what was it called? Canon, I want to say photo bomb, but I really don't think it was photo bomb. Photo shots, no, oh, I can't remember. GSX, I'm going to put the link in the description because I'm rubbish, I can't remember. Let's find <coughs> cameras. Next all of this. Which one? Oh, there we go. It's not called photo bomb. It's called power shot. Slightly different to photo bomb. That is the beauty I need, apparently. But I want to have a go. I want to see what it's like. What is it? Four eight nine with forty pound cash back. You'll be able to sign your life away to get the cash back. That was a bit of a pointless exercise. So Curry's uh, have got no battery in the camera. 
so they can't turn it on they can't open a box they can't show me what the camera does because obviously it won't turn on um so i don't think i really want to spend 500 pounds on something before i've even seen what it does that's silly maybe john lewis i'm sure they won't say no to turning an item on before you spend 500 pounds uh let's have a look hi everyone so i am just off to see one of my uh, stockists with Lara Quinn and this beautiful store. They do lots of homeware, interiors, and etc. In fact, I'll take you along and show you some of the bits they do because it's really beautiful. So yeah, just gonna go film what it looks like because they've made a beautiful display of um, my collection, so it's quite exciting. I end up going to my stockist and buying more than I earn from having my candles there because generally the kind of places that my candles and diffusers are in are so lovely, got lovely home interiors, etc. Every time I pop in, I can't help but shop and buy stuff. So not only do they have the best smelling Lara Quinn candles, but interiors as well are just stunning. I love it. Well, we're 71 years old as a business and my grandfather started the business as a market trader in Nottingham. We moved uh, to Normanton here uh, about uh, 50 years ago and my father started the business and now as a third generation uh, we're now in the business as well. Uh, a lot more design-led giftware and homeware and even slight fashion items, scarves, jewellery wonderful candles etc. Laura Quinn, uh, a beautiful candle and diffuser range. We're very delighted to have it in stock. Uh, wonderful quality, beautiful candles, well packaged and the scent, what they give you is just amazing. And people can shop online www.regtailors.co.uk and on, on there is our shop. We, we offer um, all our interior products plus all our candles and wonderful uh, Christmas items. We love Christmas here at Reg Taylor's. We develop seven to 11 different themes each year. We source from all over the world. We have a wonderful showroom on site and it's available also online.